Hi, this is Abby. Um, this is uh, Saturday Morning Makes um, number 8 for me. I've been enjoying this one, I can. And this week I made some cards with this uh, rubber necker stamp set. Um, it says Freehand Fred Spray Set number 900. It has some really nice sentiments on here about flowers and friendship and um, a really nice set with the with the print in the cursive there so and it has really nice little label that you can use that fit the sentiments or you can use on your own for little labels which I love and you can Stamp them out in whatever color you want, or black, and, um, really nice set. I like this set a lot. And so, I got it at our local scrapbook store when the actual rubbernecker people came down. Um, they're from the west, like the western state. I'm wanting to say California, but not really for sure. I'd have to look down to, um, the midwest here. So, pretty cool. And I also use the Stamps of Life Square Flip It Die by Stanfini Barnard. I really like this. Um, it comes with some words that you can put in the inside, but you can also just leave that off and use a stamp. And it comes with some flowers, which are nice too, but and I have used before, but I did not use this time. I just used the card die here. And you can get two of these cards out of eight and a half by eleven cardstock um, because this side is five and a half. So if you just lay two out, it's eleven inches, and you can cut two exactly from an eight and a half by eleven cardstock with almost hardly no waste. I love that. And then it has these um, inside edge pieces, which you can just cut out of six by six paper and um, very easy to make your card in a snap. And I also used the square layering piece that was on here and also this piece here which if you don't put the inside you know it's not going to get out back at the words out like they show here but it makes a nice stitch detail for your stamp. So I love that. I love dual purpose use dies and stamps. So here they are. They're called Flip It because you open them up and flip them. So pretty cool. I do not have a stand for my, I'm videoing this on my phone. I do not have a stand for my phone because I thought I don't want to do videos full time. I want to craft. But I do enjoy these Saturday morning makes and some small haul videos and showing you small videos. So I have gotten into it a little bit more than I ever thought I would. So maybe that would be something down the road. My husband does videos and he has a whole setup. But And my son has recently got into it and done Lego videos. But getting off the track here, back to the cards. Um, so I like these. Like I said, you could use... Two cards out of one eight and a half by eleven piece of cardstock, and I actually only used eight six by six papers for all four of these cards. So, and then I don't have any scraps because I don't like scraps because then I think I have to keep them and then they pile up. Which I have two big iris cases full of scraps because I'm like, oh, you could use those, but um, after a while I have to put them in the scrap sale and. See for like five dollars and so somebody else can use them because I know us crafters think alike and go ooh that's pretty paper we don't want to throw that away but after a while it takes over so it's, yeah so that's my solution to that and then someone else can get some paper so um yeah uh these are just re I just really love how these turned out I'm looking forward to sending them off to some friends to make them smile this one here says the world is a more colorful place because of you. Fill your 
days with memories and flowers, friendship and happy hours. And put the flowers here at the top. I got the flowers out of these clear zipper bags. I think these are from... It's escaping me now, but anyways, I have some clear zipper bags here, and I like to keep all sorts of flowers, like prima flowers, home um, die cut flowers I've made, homemade flowers, um, polyester, you know, flowers. Uh, so yeah, those are just three things full of flowers, and I can keep them over in here in a bin next to my desk, and I can. And then I just recently got these from Pink and Maine. They're kind of like sequins, but just like little bitty flowers. So, yeah, those are fun. I like to leave those on to the middle flowers here on the inside. And then I use these little sun brads on the front. And so I would detach the front flower, the brad, then I came over on the back and glued the flower on the back to cover up the brad and then stuck the little orange flower from the pink and mane on the back. So I really like that. And then used the circle stamps from the set to um, for my journaling. So then on these last two, or I think I might already showed you that one. Yeah, I already showed you that one. Um, that's the same as this one. Yeah, that's the one I showed you. I'm getting off track here. So anyways, um, these ones I stamped right here in the middle and have an extra journaling spot. These ones right here, that's the same one. I did two of each. Um, don't have anything because it's got the pattern paper and it's got the extra sentiment over here, which is cheap that one. So two different designs like and that's what I made for Saturday Morning Makes. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed sharing it with you. I hope you enjoyed it. And have a great day. Bye.